check out the best volleyball in the world, let's meet our teams. And this first team teaming up for the very first time, coming in as the number 15 seed, and they were on point yesterday, everybody, just cruising through and just playing like ballers. The ballers that they are. And this first player out of Canada, she has, she actually has triple citizenship, I believe born in Switzerland, is that right? Sweden or Switzerland? I'm gonna say Switzerland, yep. Born in Switzerland, lives in Canada, her father's from the USA. We are happy to have her on the AVP tour and making her semi-final debut. Let me hear it for Brandy Wilkerson. And her partner, ladies and gentlemen, from right here in the sunny South Bay, a 17-time winner on the AVP Tour out of the University of Minnesota. We know her, we've loved her for a long, long time. She called herself an Olympian, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear it for Nicole Brenna. Oh, and the gun, heads up. And their opponents coming in as the number one seed this weekend in Manhattan Beach and coming off of a silver medal finish at the World Championships in Vienna. This first player, the blocker, the long arm of the law. She's got a law degree from USC, the two-time and the defending best blocker on the AVP Tour. A four-time champion, she is Lauren Fendrick. And her partner. The four-time best server on the AVP Tour, three-time most valuable player on the AVP Tour, 29-time winner and two-time Olympic medalist for the USA. She is April Ross. Welcome back to the beach. It is Sunday morning, the biggest, best day of them all. And we are here starting off with a big time women's semifinal matchup. Triborn here with Maria Marino. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> it is early, but we are so happy to be here. This is Sunday. This is the Manhattan Beach Open, the granddaddy of them all. You win this, you get your name on the coveted pier forever. Go down and beach volleyball legend. One of these teams will have a shot at that this afternoon. Nicole Branna, the Olympian, back to serve. She goes to Lauren Fendrick. Brandy Wilkerson with her hands there on the block. Gets Brand the kill. Brandy's been blocking a lot of balls, uh, continuing this trend from yesterday. She is a top player on the world tour and uh, just came out here to the AVP, so there's really no surprise that she made, made it to Sunday so early on in her AVP career. Yeah, Nicole Brana and Brandy Wilkerson had to battle through the contenders bracket and they had a really tight match yesterday between, as Brana uh, gets a service error there, they had a, a tough match yesterday between Kim DiCello and Emily Stockman, and Brandy Wilkerson was blocking all day long. She has a, a high finish of fifth on the FIVB International Tour. Her highest finish here at the AVP is 17th. She's still new to the AVP, though, as April Ross gets her first ace of the day. Yeah, this is a, a tough matchup for, for the ones <laughs> here. It's, you uh, definitely expect uh, to have a, to, for, Lauren and, for Lauren and April to be playing a, cal a team that's of this caliber in the semifinals, but their seeding wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't expect a, a lower seed like this to uh, make it that far. The 15 seed, of course. Yes. And Wilkerson's in the net. 
Definitely a bad draw for a few teams that drew it. Uh, <laughs> Brandy and uh, Nicole this weekend. Uh, but that's kind of how it works when really good players right. are, are co and just coming into the tour. That's because, as we know, Brandy Wilkerson, 25-year-old from Toronto, hasn't played much AVP. And Nicole Branna, this is only her first AVP tournament of the summer. Oh, that is yeah. really close. Both of these teams so far going for it on serve. <laughs> Wow. Did they give it to April there? No. Oh, I saw Lauren Fendrick smiling. Maybe she's just having a good time. We're having a good time. Oh, yeah. Deep flow is short to Lauren Fendrick here. Lauren's nice high swing over the block. Side switch. Good match so far. 4-3 at the switch. Lauren Fendrick and April Ross on top. Check out this replay. That's a tough one to stop. Good high contact, keeping it in, but all the way to the back line. April Ross. Best guarded. server in the world right here. Yeah. He's going with the float for now. Try, you read my mind. That's exactly what I was going <laughs> to say. Nice shot there by Brandy. I guess we, we've been doing this all weekend. <laughs> Lots of matches. It's oh, yeah. It's been super fun bringing uh, the viewers the action on the avp.com live stream. April Ross swings away, goes high line, gets the kill. Good aggressive swing there against the block of Wilkerson. Definitely. April's uh, always going to stay aggressive, I feel like, no matter who's blocking her. Yep. April Ross taking middle on that serve. Here's Wilkerson. She misses just wide on that shot try. Trying to tag that line. Yeah, the set was a little off. Definitely off the net, she tried to bring it back towards her line. And uh, April was kind of all over it, if it was in. Lauren Fendrick, the 6'3 blocker. She's a four-time winner here on the AVP Tour. Goes to Wilkerson again. This time, she puts it away. It's a really nice shot there. Just simple, Make, she makes it look easy, but it's not, trust me to get it up and over one of the bigger blocks in the world. Yeah. Well, actually, Lauren dove there, but yeah. it was still a nice, clean high line. You'll see a lot of these elite players sending the ball all the way to the back line using the entire court. Wilkerson gets a touch there on the block against Lauren Fendrick, but falls on her side of the net. So point Fendrick Ross, April Ross to serve now. So much to say about April Ross. She really has had an incredible career and she's nowhere near done, 35 years old. Here we go, another chance in transition. Nicole Branna blocked by Lauren Fendrick. Lauren Fendrick. She's been getting better and better every single year. Good little show and take move there. Show a little angle and take it away. This one's over. The lefty Wilkerson takes care of it at the net on the overpass from April Ross. I like how Branna and Wilkerson were both really aggressive on that play. Branna started with the option ball and Wilkerson's taking no chances. She, she was kind of patrolling that net and just said, all right, I'm killing this thing. Good eye there by Lauren Fendrick and April Ross. That ball was super low, but yeah, made really, it, made a really it out aggressive of serve there by Brandy Wilkerson. Tried to kind of have a really flat trajectory on it. It's really hard to pass when they do get that serve in. Mm. Um, but it's also really hard to keep in. It'll, it'll sail out the, the flatter the trajectory, the better chance you have of it going deep. 
Brandy Ace. gets caught with a similar serve right there, catching her high on her platform. That ball gets up high on your arms. It's really hard to control. So you'll see these servers playing with different depths on their serve. Mm -hmm. She sends that one deep middle. Nice cut swing there by Brandy. Yeah. Nice job by her taking care of a bit of a tight set, knowing Lauren Fendrick is looming on the other side. <laughs> that, that set dropped way inside, but Brandy luckily is a, is a lefty, so Nicole knows that she can error inside and, and Brandy can get her left hand on it pretty quickly. Ace. Ace. Wow. Just a perfect placement right in between Lauren Fendrick and April Ross. Nicole Brannon still got it. 38 years old. Yeah, she's from California, went to the University of Minnesota. She's won on the AVP tour 17 times, three times on the FIVB tour. Of course, was an Olympian with the legend Elaine Youngs. Back in 2008, in Beijing, that is, they made the quarterfinals. April Ross, of course, has won out here 29 times. And she's won on the FIVB many times. Too many to count. <laughs> yeah. Not to mention her, her two Olympic medals. April, April Ross on two, oh. and Brandi Wilkerson saw it coming, but she just couldn't wrangle it. That would have been impressive if Wilkerson came up with that play. Kind of shows your athleticism there. Yeah. By getting, almost getting to the net and then blocking it into the net and almost yeah. covering herself, but yeah. that's a tough play. April Let's, on two is a, a familiar yeah. sight. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She, she's going to take over when she gets the opportunity. Let's check out uh, court number one. Of course, we have the other semifinal going on on the outer court. So much great action today. One of the best collegiate teams of all time, if not the best collegiate beach volleyball team. And the young life of collegiate beach volleyball, uh, these girls right here on, on the close side of the screen, Sarah Hughes. And Kelly Clay is playing against Emily Day and Brittany Hochaver. Yeah, Emily Day and Brittany Hochaver are the defending Manhattan Beach Open champions. They got their names cemented on the pier on Thursday, and they're trying to defend their title. Meanwhile, Sarah Hughes and Kelly Clay's have two NCAA championships under their belt at USC. They also won. Is it the, only two? <laughs> well, they had the. They won the. Technically, it's the AVCA championship ah, okay. in 2015. So, the really, sport they was really still growing yes, while they were there. Yes, it was just um, just becoming an NCAA sport within the last few years. Beach volleyball, and they've won at the highest level they could possibly win. Yeah, and, and I think it's safe to say they were the top team their entire college careers. Yeah. I mean, they, I believe they won over 100 matches in a row together, which is pretty absurd as we head it, back to stadium court. They haven't made, they've made a huge statement and done really well in their professional career so far, but getting to a final here would be, uh, would be a really big statement, I think. Absolutely, when you consider the field and how all of the best teams are playing this weekend, this is the tournament that everyone wants to play. There's no conflicts this weekend with the FIVB, so you really have all the top talent out here. Clays and Hughes, of course, just graduated a couple months ago from college. Here's Lauren Fendrick with a chance. Puts it away. Nice angle shot. Good high contact there by Lauren. 13-10, Brown and Wilkerson don't want to let this lead open up anymore. Yeah, they need a side out right here, keep this within reach. Oh, there's a huge Not what they ace. needed. <laughs> ace from April Ross. April Ross just. April, she's known as obviously the best server in the world. She's been named best server in the world on the FIVB, um, and then obviously on the American tour as well here mm -hmm. on the AVP. 
um, multiple times. I can get that stat for you in a second. <laughs> but she's now getting it done with her float serve as well. That's what makes her so good. Not only is, does she have the best jump serve in the world, but she gets it done with her float serve, yes. bringing different tempos, their strategy and intention behind each serve. And that's why she's the best. Yeah, she's one of the few that can really use every possible strategy. She can use power, she can place it. Here comes Fendrick. Oh, never mind. April Ross on two, as she likes to do. It's a trend that you'll see is, is these top players, these, I guess, Hall of Fame players like April Ross. When it comes to Sunday, as it gets closer to this final, they'll be doing a little bit more, taking more control of the yes. game and the match. And, Not playing uh, it safe. No, they're, they're going to do whatever it takes to win. And here's April another Ross is there. transition play by April. Nice up by Brenna. Wilkerson keeps it alive. Ooh. You know, April Ross is calling line on that, but Fendrick saw an opening for the cut shot instead. Yeah, she kind of hesitated a little bit there, and I think that's what kept Brana from getting this. See, she... Right. Brana did a little hop step towards the line, hearing April call line, yes. and, then, and then Lauren delaying a little bit caused her not, not to be able to get to that. Split second mm -hmm. sooner, and Brana would have uh, gotten all over it. Lauren Fendrick and April Ross looking so comfortable right now. Let's check out this outside court again. We're back at it. 19-14, Hood Shaver Day in the lead. Hood yes. Shaver Day in the black spandex, the long spandex. Or yeah, they, they busted out the, uh, the, the layers today, I guess, with the weather being a little bit cloudy at the moment. Yeah, here little, on Manhattan Beach. A little marine layer over mm -hmm. over us. It's it's still early in the day. And there's a free ball coming back to Day and Hoche for the reigning champs. And she's going to put that one away. That's Emily Day from the left. And that will do it, 21-14. Wow. That's a statement there by the reigning Manhattan Beach Open champs. Of course, uh, Kelly Clays and Sarah Hughes had to battle through contenders, meaning, you know, with this being a double elimination tournament, they had a loss and they had to, you know, win their way back back to Sunday. So they're probably a little bit more tired, a little bit more worn out, whereas Day and Hochaver and also Lauren Fendrick and April Ross, they had... Straight through the winners. Right, they, they had one win yesterday and they got to go home and rest or chillax, as I like to say. <laughs> Ooh, Our production nice crew here likes to make fun of me when I say that. Chillax, it's a good word. It's a good word for beach volleyball. Chilling and relaxing. <laughs> relaxing all cool. <laughs> 16 to 12. Yeah. Fendrick Ross opening up a little bit of a lead here as we enter the back half of the first set. Really nice swing there by uh, Lauren, Fendrick. Side, Lauren Fendrick. So Lauren Fendrick and April Ross already won this year on the AVP Tour in New York City, even though April Ross broke her toe in the semifinal. So she played the final with that injury. They still won, and she's been playing injured much of this summer. That didn't stop them from getting a silver medal at the World Championships in Vienna, which is basically the biggest tournament in the world so no april's a april's a warrior she uh she battled through that injury came back early which is risky um kind of did like a four-week recovery rather than the, the mm -hmm. recommended six um but that was her goal from the beginning so yeah she changed her diet and uh She's used a, a bone stimulator to to keep the healing going faster. Wow. Basically took every opportunity she could to speed up that recovery and it worked for her. She's very smart, April, and she knows what her body is capable of. Trouble here for Wilkerson and Brana. They're gonna have to give a free ball back, give themselves a little time to get back and April's ready. Gotta love that game on two. Yes. It's not as much that they're trying to play an on two game, but they're get Lauren's giving April the option. And Correct. if she sees it, she's going to take it. Yes. If not, she's going to set 
And uh, she, she is so great at decision making, April. And if she feels comfortable and, and she has the opportunity, she will, she will take advantage. Great cover there by Nicole Brana, keeping that ball alive. Here's April Ross. There she is again. April Ross taking control of this match. April Ross and Lauren Fendrick, still a relatively new partnership. They had played together, you know, on one-off situations in the past. In fact, April Ross helped Lauren Fendrick get her first ever win on the AVP Tour in 2015. And Nicole Brana and Brandi Wilkerson still alive here in this first set. Got quite the deficit to overcome, though. It's still set point for Fendrick and Ross. April taking this one out of the middle, getting the offset. Nice up by Brana. Almost puts it down. Wow, good Great play. Great shot by Nicole Brana. And you can see the emotion after that play. And that's so important because this set may just be out of reach. I'm not going to call it just yet. But you want to get the momentum for that second set if, if you're not going to take this first one, right, Try. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, You want to feel good going into the next set. That's a great play to at least hype herself up. It was a pretty nice poke shot. Yeah. Lauren, uh, April put enough air under it to give Nicole time to get there, but it was definitely still a, a tough play to make. Especially when you get a point on your serve, it's, it's always valuable. And that one goes out. There's that little momentum we were talking about. See Fendrick hanging her head a little bit, and that's kind of what you want. Even if you're going to lose this set, you want the, the yeah. other team to kind of feel like... Less you invincible. Were, yeah, and you were closer. You were touching everything, and, yeah. and you were on a run, and just kind of impose your will for this next set. Because it really doesn't matter how much you lose by. But by right. no means is this set over. Correct. And that was another service point, as I said. Oh, Nicole Brana just. And that one is off the antenna. We'll have to check out a replay on that one. Brandy does not think that it hit the antenna. Let's see here. Oh, I don't think no. it did. It hit the net. And then that ball ended up dropping on. It's That's gonna be hard to see from this angle if it hit the antenna. I wanna say it didn't. I, I, and then they ended up getting the play, getting the point. You know, I think maybe what happened was the fact that it hit the net. All right, everybody, it is time to give away some made the stuff. antenna we'll move. Let's check out uh, who Mark Sherman has down on the sand. Renata from Brazil. From Brazil. Welcome, Renata, to Manhattan Beach, everybody. She is wearing this beautiful Hug Somebody Smarty Pants Vitamins Fanny Pack, and you get to keep that. And there's two Club AVP passes in there. If, Hinata, you can guess five emojis in 30 seconds. You know the game? Okay, got it. So we've got emojis that are gonna represent a movie, a song, maybe a TV show. If you can get five, you're taking that home. You ready? Okay, got it. All right, everybody, and you can help her out too. Let's check out the big board. Let's get 30 seconds on the board, and here we go. Bug Life. Bugs Life. Yep, number one. Here we go. Boat. Boat. You can skip it too if you need to. Airbud. Airbud. How'd you get that? Here we go. Number three. Skip. Charlotte's Web is what she said. Here we go. That's three. Let's go. Here we go. Next. I had a time. I had the tiger. One more. You got wait. You got a lot of time left. Here we go. Family Guy. Family Guy. Oh my goodness, that is impressive. Nice job, hey, Nata. Yes, you're taking home some Club ABP passes. They have different shows in Brazil. I get it. It's okay. It's okay. It's tough. Make sure you check out Smarty Pants over in Sponsor Village. Smarty Pants, jam-packed with essential nutrients like vitamin D and omega-3 fish oil, all in one delicious little gummy. Go check them out in Sponsor Village. Welcome back.
Mark Sherman, practically giving away the gifts. <laughs> He's nice like that. How about this uh, the sand art we have on the, on the Pretty on the court. impressive. Do we know who does that? <laughs> I don't know. The grounds crew is We need to find out. Where's is, our uh, research team? <laughs> we'll get one of those one day. For now, yes. we are the research team. But look at that. It's not yeah. a, it's not just written in the sand. It, it's a certain font. Yeah, it's like they draw um, it and then calligraphy. They, and then they uh, hit it with the hose to really get it to stay. And uh, it ain't burning off yet because the sun's not out. We got a nice little cloud cover, as they call it here. The marine layer is over us. And the, the dreaded marine layer. That's all it's I've about been hearing 68. about all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> my my first California volleyball uh -oh. tournament. Good hustle there, but that is not how you want to start the second set. After losing the first, 21-16, Brown and Wilkerson are on their heels. First point goes the way of Ross and Fendrick. Number one seed in this tournament. Going against the 15 seed, although the seeding might be a little deceiving when you think about the experience that Nicole Branna and Brandy Wilkerson bring to the table. Love that lefty swing there by Brandy Wilkerson, able to bring it straight down that line. That's one of the hardest balls to dig as a as a defender, uh, as a blocker when you're dropping, because you usually want to open your body up towards the court, take the meat of the court. But when a player is able to bring it right down the line, you kind of have to spin around and and uh, open your body towards that line, and it's just a tough shot to make or a tough dig to make, mm. as you saw there. I believe that one went out, so Brandon and Wilkerson will take a 2-1 lead really early on in the second set. Triborn always bringing the insight. Three-time winner on the AVP himself, of course, so always good to have a pro in the booth breaking it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got to deliver the knowledge. I'll, I'll teach you about broadcasting, and then you can teach me about volleyball. Hey, perfect. <laughs> I'm into it. Here we go, going to April Ross. And this one's in, out. In. The head ref is oh. going to overrule, and Nicole Branna you know what? is on so be fire. It. So be it. Check it out. It kind of looked in I to me originally, but the linesman called it out. The head ref was looking directly down on it, and she called it in. You know what, Try. I hate to say it, but April Ross and Lauren Fendrick got a little bit of a break on that last point in set one, so yeah, that's I'm okay true. I'm okay if Brandon Wilkerson get this one. They owed him Although I, I, can't, I can't really see up. the call myself. I want to say Statting, it hit the line. Yeah. When I saw it originally, I think it hit the line. And by um, the way, Nicole Branna celebrated so hard after that call. She was yelling. She is like so fired up. I love to see that. This is Sunday. This is, uh, I mean, Nicole Branna getting to an Lauren, Manhattan Beach Finals. And you know, Lauren Fendrick huge. is really arguing that call. She's a lawyer. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> she is. That's why she's the long arm of the law at the net. <laughs> getting her uh, law degree from USC. Here we go, Branna trying to build on that 3 1 lead. Going with her jump serve. Here comes April Ross. Puts it away. I like Have April Ross line. kind of going with the rhythm of the serve. So Nicole Branna served that one right up the seam. Uh, April had to take a step to her right to pass it. So she kind of just continued her approach to the right side of the court. Nice clean side out, up and over to the high line. Lauren Fendrick on the line. Wilkerson. And here's Wilkerson doing the same thing right back, exact same play, but from the other side. Yeah, a lot of times it's like it's, deja vu. It's like, as a hitter, you want to make things as easy as possible on yourself. So if your ment momentum's going one way, you kind of just want to create a flow within your game. And that's kind of what they both did there. Plus, when you move like that, you're making the defense make huge adjustments. Hmm. That one's about four feet out as we have a side switch on seven points. In set one, we switched at 4-3 as well, but it was Fendrick and Ross on top. 
Brandy Wilkerson and Nicole Branna. They take this set here. They can force a third set and stay alive in this tournament. April Ross, Oof. her serve is just out of bounds. I can see the ball mark from here. <laughs> so close yet almost, so far. Almost right on the buckle of the corner there. Yeah. Here comes Branna to serve. Nice high swing. You see that a few times today. Lauren Fendrick really using that long arm. Good high reach and snapping. Yeah. Not telegraphing at all. Lauren Fendrick is 6'3. April Ross, 6'1, which is on the taller side for a defender. These two are both physically very intimidating. Oh, we got a net by Lauren Fender. That's really costly. Brandon and Wilkerson, 6 4 in set two. Brian Ford, set number three for the first match today on Sadie Court. Lauren and April trying to close it out. It's a huge matchup. Second Gold Series event of the season and the biggest event of the year so far. Yes. In terms of money, $225,000 total purse on the line this weekend and uh, these athletes all want a piece of it a big old piece absolutely and because it's the gold series we've been w rocking these shiny gold jackets which you could see on our instagram and of course all of that all that jazz oh yeah we're we're up to date we're hip on the social media <laughs> check out this ace by of course April Ross getting None it done other. with her float serve. None other than. I think that's more of an aired pass than a, than an ace caused by April, but she will take it all day. And there's another great serve and an ace. Another one for April. And Just moving five. Wilkerson around. She's all, <clears throat> it's nothing too special right now, but she's just making Wilkerson pass outside of her body line. And uh, when someone like April hits, there's a little, I call it kind of heaviness to it. Okay. It hits your platform a little harder than when uh, someone else might hit it. You feel like you see it, it's coming at a certain speed, and, but it comes off your arms a little differently when someone like April Ross, who's so strong, um, hits it. So you kind of just have to hold your platform there a split second longer and just be aware of who's yeah. hitting that ball. You got to brace yourself when <laughs> April yeah. Ross is serving. Some people just have a heavy hand, and, and I think that's April, even when she's hitting that float serve. Seven all. April Ross. Great up by Branna. Wow. And Wilkerson read it perfectly. She has such great instincts. And she she plays like she's older than 25, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Well, she does have a lot of experience and at a really high level. Uh, Brandy has played on the world tour. She's currently ranked number nine in the world with Heather Bansley out of Canada. Amazing. Um, luckily for Brandy, she can play on the AVP as well because I believe she has dual citizenship. But yeah. she's on the Canadian national team as we see more and more Canadian national team members come over to Canada yes. because they have that dual citizenship. Uh, on the men's side, you have Kame Schalk making Absolutely. his presence felt out here. There's Nicole Branna, Beijing Olympian. Yeah. Nicole Branna. Goes to Lauren Fendrick. Oh! Oh, oh a roof! Brandy. Brandy Wilkerson. 5'10 with the stuff block on the 6'3 Fendrick. Reminding Lauren that she is one of the top 10 teams in the world yeah. on the world tour, one of the top 10 blockers. I love too how <laughs> Wilkerson, she's so composed after that. She's just like, yeah, no big deal. You can, tell <laughs> she, you can tell she's done that before. Yeah, that's where she lives. Ooh. Tough break for Branna there, going for it on the serve. She and Wilkerson still lead this one 10-8. They, of course, trail, though, one set to none, so 
They got to pull this one out if they want to stay alive. <laughs> oh, and Lauren sends a block right back. Wow, Lauren Fendrick says, that's, that's my thing. <laughs> Some good battles at the net going on here between these two. And uh, Branna and Wilkerson almost covered it. It was just kind of like this, such a quick reaction play. Ooh, nice shot. You know, great move there by both Wilkerson and Branna because the first pass was a little iffy. The set was a little iffy, but whatever works. Back Lauren set. going back. Brenna's right there. Beautiful set. Oh, I love uh, that high line. That spot. What a location for that ball to drop. It looked like Nicole thought it was going out when it came off her hand for some reason. Or it was just an interesting reaction to that. But that was a, a perfect high line. I mean, she put it right on the back line, so I can see why she maybe thought she was going to miss it deep. Because you're not just a single category or function. You're more than brain, energy, bones, heart, mood, healthy skin, hair, and nails. You're all in one. And so are we. Meet Smarty Pants, preferred by smart mouths everywhere. Back at it, Manhattan Beach, it is Sunday, win or you go home. And uh, we got that little marine layer covering up right now. It's actually great beach volleyball weather. Sometimes Absolutely. these players have to play in grueling conditions and the sand gets hot, they're hot, they yeah. sweat all over them and it makes it really difficult to play right now. It's about 68 degrees, 9.22 in the morning. And uh, things are only going to get hotter and hotter as the day goes on. But uh, yeah. we'll I'm sure we'll see the sun coming out here soon. But these girls are enjoying the, the cloud cover for now. They'll and take it. It really makes things a lot easier when you're not dealing with the elements. Yeah. Something they are trained for, though. The wind is pretty mellow right here as well. So really kind of ideal conditions where the w weather and the elements aren't really going to have too much to do with the match. And uh, it's some high quality volleyball that we've seen so far. Coming out of the technical timeout, Branna and Wilkerson. The Canadian back to serve. Lefty. April Ross on two, puts There's it away. There's that option. There's a lot to be said about, about the passing of Lauren Fendrick right now. Giving April that option, you want your teammate who is arguably the best player in the world to have options every time that yes. she touches the ball and uh, that's what Lauren Fendrick's doing right now taking advantage having April Ross on her team Wilkerson wow interesting read there I think just a misread by Lauren Fendrick just such a nice touch for her like I could see her wrist kind of rolling off that ball but yet she put enough power behind it it was so quick yeah, I think she she saw that the block was dropping, so she knows she just had to get it down to the sand quickly. Interesting. Similar shot right back. <laughs> yeah. Lauren Fendrick. <laughs> Lauren Fendrick keeps saying, like, anything you can do, I can do it too. <laughs> it's really rare that you actually see a, a ball drop directly in the middle of the court. Um, but it happens, as you see yeah. right there. Brana scoops that one off the sand and gets blocked by Lauren Fendrick trying to go cross body to that low line. You know, that's exactly what Lauren Fendrick and April Ross needed. A play like that to put them back within one and keep this set number two within reach. They are feeling comfortable and confident right now. These two ladies have seen it all. They've been to the Olympics. They've played at the highest 
level of competition in the world, and they are they're feeling good right now. Brianna comes right back with her wealth of experience and making it look easy, getting that touch off Lauren Fendrick for the kill. I like Lauren Fendrick touching a lot of balls at the net here. Even if she doesn't get the block, it makes the offense kind of think twice about uh, coming at her. Absolutely. Falling Ooh. away set there by April Ross and Lauren Fendrick. Sails that hit long, and all of a sudden, it's another three-point lead here in set two for Brenna and Wilkerson. Wilkerson at the line. <gasps> oh, and a deep serve by a Wilkerson. Serve. And April Ross and Lauren Fendrick. Stepping up in the big moment. Yeah. Brandy Wilkerson in her first AVP semifinal. You know, I wonder if, take another look here, the ace off Fendrick. I, I wonder if for um, somebody like Brandy Wilkerson, the AVP, you know, how big is it for a player from Canada? You know, growing up here in the States, we watch AVP growing up and it's a big deal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, know? we got some good volleyball going on here. Great rally. Wow, great play by both Branna and well, watch Wilkerson try to stay out of the net there. Nice read by Branna. And just somehow gets that past April Ross. April had it red. Just looking so fluid and comfortable. And oh, Fendrick and Ross need to, uh, need to discuss this here in the timeout. Timeout here, Marcio Ciccoli. Coaching Brandon and Wilkerson. That's yeah. kind of a surprise. Yeah, He's the coach exactly. of Jake Gibb and Taylor Crabb on the men's side who got eliminated yesterday. So I guess uh, he wanted something to do <laughs> here on uh, on Sunday. Yeah, funny how that works out. And, uh, his girls delivered for him. And, and talk about the history of Marcio Ciccoli. I mean, he, he famously coached Missy May Trainer and Kerry Walsh Jennings in yep. the Olympics, uh, their last Olympics in London. Yeah, he's kind of known as, as one of the best coaches out there, someone who's brought his own style, his own, uh, I guess, philosophy behind yeah. coaching. And, and a lot there's a lot of players that have bought into it. And right. then on the other side of the net right now, April Ross and Lauren Fendrick have John Daze someone who has coached under Marcio and was Marcio's assistant for years with, with Carrie and April. Wow. April loved working with John Daze, and so she brought him over to her side. <laughs> and uh, now the two coaches are, are going head to head. It's like student v teacher. Yeah, it really is. And uh, just to clarify, Marcio Ciccoli also coached April Ross and Carrie Walsh Jennings for their Olympic run, which uh, yielded a bronze medal and in John, Rio de Janeiro. John Daze was, was there as Marcio's assistant. So wow. he, they both coached him, actually. These players very familiar with each other because of that. Here comes Branna. Wow, Branna shoots it right to Ross. Ross guesses correctly, and that goes up and over. Successful timeout for the uh, silver medalist. A little contact under the net in the middle of the rally there. There's the end of the play. April and Brandy kind of ran into each other under the net, but that happens fairly often. As long as it doesn't interfere with the play, the refs won't call it. Interesting. Nice hand There's set by Brandon. Tight Brana. set, <gasps> and it goes out. Really fortunate. Error there by Lauren and April, or sorry, really fortunate error by Brandy wanting the touch there, not even close. She found the right spot on the court, but being a left-handed player, that kind of drifted over to her mm -hmm. right shoulder, which kind of carried that ball out of bounds. 17-14. Looks like uh, they just took a timeout. Yeah, they don't want to let the other team get into a rhythm. let April and Lauren run off a few points on you. Really dangerous team, obviously. They're the top team in this tournament, the number one seed, and uh, 
You want to end that run really quickly. Coach Marcio Sicoli has a lot to say here. So we are on the outer court. They have gone to three sets. Kelly Clays and Sarah Hughes taking the second. 21-18, let's wow. check it out real quick. As we're in the third set, 5-3. Looks like they're in a timeout. Of course, the third so set. come back to the stadium here. The third set we'll, only going to 15. We'll try to keep you posted on that, but they, it is five to three. Hughes and Clay is in the time. lead over Emily Day and Brittany Hochaver, the reigning champs. Clay's and Hughes making a final, looking to make a huge statement. And uh, there's word on the street that those girls could potentially be our team in four years to go to Tokyo. <laughs> word so, uh, on the street. <laughs> they're trying to... They're trying to make that statement here early on in the quad. Yeah. But back on stadium, April Ross is going to try to get this one over as soon as possible. But Wilkerson and Branagh are having something to say about it as Wilkerson gets the kill there. Good vision. Nice, clean side out. That's what they needed. They needed just to come out of the timeout and do one easy side out, get their lead back. And now it's just about siding out every time and seeing if you can create any real points, but not letting up any runs. Two thousand eight Olympian Nicole Brana. Fendrick. Wow. Wrangles that set. Set was pulled off the net mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, she had to kind of extend like, back. Watch Brandy Wilkerson here. She's trying to get that angle, but the set getting pulled off the net, she needed to take another step, one more foot inside, and then pe press over. Um, but that's a tough one to make, and a split-second decision like that is, is always easy to talk about in hindsight. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nicole Brana moving the block she around. She is feeling it. She is such a competitor. Nice seam swing there. Gotta love that one. Yeah. Anticipating Lauren Fendrick diving into the angle just gives him the seam shot. April Ross on two. Of course, April's gonna take every little opportunity she gets to impose her will on this match. Watch it. Love that double arm lift. She just has such an aggressive approach every time, which sets up her finesse game as well. But she's always got the option to bring the power, and a lot of the times you'll see that. Yeah. That she will. I got to say, the action this weekend has been unbelievable. We had so many three-set matches yesterday. This one has a chance to go to three. April oh. Ross with an opportunity. Wow. No, what? I want to sure say Lauren Fendrick there. begged for that one. Let's see. I don't love that late call by the ref. Let's see if she actually did net. I don't see a net. Oh, oh. yeah, when she came down, her hand hit it. Lauren was right, the lawyer, okay. of course. <laughs> it's at the bottom here. Watch your hand kind of nick the bottom of the tape. Lauren was yelling. She was all oh, over that one. And uh, the bottom ref did. Wow. Nice pokey over the block. Set point. Here we go. It is never easy to go to the finals in the Manhattan Beach Open. And yeah. Fendrick and Ross on the edge of getting pushed to three sets. Oh, what a swing down the line. Missed away more But it ain't over yet. Yeah. Two points so is not a big lead really in this sport, and especially when you're playing against the one seed. And of course, April Ross, who is right. a Olympic bronze medalist, silver medalist, and hoping to be a gold medalist in about four years. You absolutely have to think that Lauren Fendrick and April Ross believe they have this, they can do this. I guess Olympics will be in three years at this point. I missed the season, so I just, <laughs> I just delete it from Block my mind. Out. Yeah. Brady Wilkerson, nobody up. 
Here April we go, Ross. April. Chance to bring it within one. And she does. This line. lead is not safe. And for Branna and Wilkerson, it's about siding out right here. Got to stay aggressive. That medium heat seam swing's not going to do it. Got to think they're going to go at Wilkerson here. She's been in some big moments before, though. Here she Shorty. Goes. Wilkerson. Out of the middle, the lefty. Still alive. Tight. Oh, wow. Unbelievable oh, composure oh, by Brandy Wilkerson, the 25-year-old from Toronto. Brandy and Wilkerson forcing set number three. Take another look. The possibly best blocker in the world gets her hands on it. But Wilkerson. Wow. Wins that joust with a little pokey on the line. I love what's Try. going on here. I love it. We're going to three sets here on stadium and out on the outer court. We got to bring you out there right now. Because we got it another nine, three set eight. match going on. It's this nine, is unreal. Eight. Day and Hochaver have actually come back. They had it. They were down early in this set. And uh, this is, <laughs> we have two great battles going on. Absolutely. At the same time. I'm sure there's some fans that wish they could watch both. In fact, if you're up in Club AVP, you can watch both. Look at you. Up in the skybox. <laughs> what a transition there. Stadium Tri to the right, side courts to the left. You're, you're getting the view from the AVP. That's what I was doing yesterday. Skybox. I was actually watching Clays and Hughes trying to win their match to get in, and I was watching uh, Theo Brunner and Casey Patterson, who made it to the semifinals on the men's side. And I'm telling you, my head was on a swivel try. I was going back and forth. I was looking one way, looking left, looking right, just watching each point. Yeah, they got a they got a pretty awesome setup here. Definitely lucky to be able to hang out up here in Club AVP. That was Emily Day who just served to Sarah Hughes, who got the kill there off Sarah the Hughes, little so cut smooth, shot. Sarah Hughes, bringing it to ten all. It's a game to five to go to the finals. One team reigning champs, the other team never been there before. Yeah. Biggest. AVP final of the year. Yeah. NBC live. Doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. This is where you uh, you get the big lights, if you will, figuratively. Oh, there's a big read there on the cut shot by Sarah Hughes trying to make a play at the net. Kelly Clay is going to get a chance to take the lead. Wow. And she does. That is huge. So Kelly Clays and Sarah Hughes, as we mentioned before, they just graduated from USC. They are a young team, but they are very, very experienced. Sarah Hughes has been playing since she was super young. She used to watch Missy Mae Trainer. Looks like uh, Day and What Hochever. do we have here? They're, this is just too good. We're, we got to get one of these on the stadium. Now we have double <laughs> outer court in case you didn't. In case you weren't, uh, you have double vision or yeah, something yeah, yeah. and your eyes work differently. <laughs> Here we go, now we're back on the stadium on one. We just have the uh, the scores backwards. We got the outer, outer court score on the stadium court match. <laughs> this is a growing operation, people. <laughs> one zero. We're working it one out. One zero here on the stadium on the left we're and upper screen. <laughs> Never. We are all good. What a... I mean, what a treat. What could the be better? The fact that we can watch both matches right now. AVP live stream literally getting better every single day. And uh, not Should sure exactly what's going on in the outer court. It might be a medical timeout. I think it is by Day and Hochaver. So Clays and Hughes trying to stay warm and loose. But Nicole Branovac to serve at Lauren Fendrick. And again, April Ross goes on two here on stadium court to take the 2-1 lead. Watch for for April Ross to really there, impose her will, even if she's not getting served. She's there's so start many advantages players. to that. One, you have April Ross who can make things happen on her own, and two, you you catch the defense kind of a little bit um, not not quite ready. As uh, Lauren Fender gets hands on that ball, but point to Brandon and Wilkerson. But we got a medical timeout on the outer court. Uh, I believe it's Brittany Hochaver who needed the 
medical timeout, and the medical staff is helping her out. April Ross with another option ball. Like I said, she's, she's there. a goal of Brenna and Wilkerson could be to really make Lauren Fendrick beat them. Yes. Don't let April Ross take over the match, but when you're as good as April Ross is, uh, a lot of the times... She's so aggressive. She, she'll just impose her will no matter what you do as we move our screen down to the bottom on stadium court here. And that's in right on the middle back buckle. Yeah, saw that line jump. Cole Brana. Couldn't get any closer. Herself. It's set three. We're all tied up at threes. Nicole Brana about to serve. She's got some experience herself. I believe she played in the quarterfinal matchup there in Beijing in the Olympics. And look at that. Oh, wow. She's so fired up as she gets an ace to take the lead in the third set. But even with the experience of Nicole Brana, 17-time winner here on the AVP, this would be a massive upset. Absolutely. They're the 15 seed in the tournament. April Ross is possibly the best player in the world. And that one's in. Uh, yeah, that, oh no, this would be a huge upset. Yeah. We got the one seed against the 15 <laughs> seed in the semifinals. This, this is like a Cinderella. <laughs> it is a Cinderella, but at the same time, you know, when you when you have an Olympian yeah. and then someone who's ranked top 10 in the world. Correct. Uh, the the seeding is a bit deceiving. It's just kind of the nature of a new team coming on tour. Wow. As, as she hits the line. Brana is so precise right now. She is feeling it. She is smiling. Nicole Brana, of course, playing this season with Carrie Walsh Jennings. Carrie Walsh choosing not to play on the AVP Tour this year. Um, but... She was injured, Carrie, so... Yeah, Eric, Carrie got injured, unfortunately. And uh, Nicole Brandon decided to come out here to the AVP Tour and join everyone else. Yeah. And, you know, late in the game, a lot of the partners are already scooped up. So pretty fortunate for Nicole Brana to get Brandy Wilkerson on her side. Regardless of what happens here, as ooh, there what we a go, diving. huge play. Save this by. will be a momentum changer to take the lead. Brana's going to get a chance. Oh wow, she is delivering right now. And. Give April Ross credit for an amazing diving save. And not to mention, watch it. Watch it right here. Watch how she comes from the outside on the slide. But Branna was waiting. Um, April Ross and Lauren Fendrick out of system. And she had the court vision, Branna, to, to put that ball away where she needed to. Right now, Nicole Branna kind of Showing her experience and, and yeah, goes to Ross here. her will. This is huge. Great touch there by Brandy. Wilkerson. Of what a great run! Brana gets another chance here to take another point off the lead. This or is the rally of the point. match right here. here. We go. Wilkerson. Oh, Unbelievable! Drop shot by Brandy. All smiles from those they two. They are feeling it. What a rally. This is by far the rally of the match. Watch Wilkerson. Way to play with her depths there. April Ross was in the angle, but she dropped it short instead. They just made April Ross hang her head. And as I started to say before, Wilkerson, regardless of what happens in this match, she will have her highest finish on the AVP tour in her career. Shorty oh. to April Ross. Nicole. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she is back. Nicole Brana with the look, ace. Look at that location, right on the line, a few feet from the net. There's really no pressure on this side of these, these two right here. Yeah. They got nothing to lose. They're, They're the not 15 expected to be here. Seed, and Nicole Brana knows that. She, she doesn't deserve to be a 15 seed. <laughs> Definitely not. And she, and she won't be for very long. 
as these girls try to seal the deal here in the third. And there's not much time. This third set's only to 15. Of course, it could be extended with the match point freeze, but. You're gonna have to put more than three. Uh, you're gonna have to get a lead bigger than three yes. points to, yes. uh, to seal the deal against the number one seed, Fendrick and Ross. And on the outer courts right here. This is just, even better. <laughs> it's just too good. 13-12, Clays and Hughes over Day and Hochaver. 13-13. all. Game to two, win by two. You get to play on NBC later today in the Manhattan Beach Open Finals. To Clays. Play. Oh, and a huge block by Emily Day. That was so... 14-13. <laughs> I was just going to use the word dope. That was just dope by Emily Day. <laughs> because she kind of had the hang time. She had the one arm, like a little bit of a slam dunk action. And Clays and Hughes had advantage there, being in serve receive. Now the advantage goes to Hochaver and Day. Sarah Hughes. Kelly Clays puts it down on two. We got another good I don't rally know where going. To look, there's so much good stuff going on. We got to we got to double box this. <laughs> We're talking about, of course, on stadium. Six eight, the lead is not safe. <laughs> Six, serving eight. Lauren Fendrick back on the line in the stadium. Oh, Brittany Hochever hits it in the net on the outer court. Wow. All tied up again on the outer court, 14s. Back in stadium, here comes Wilkerson. Nobody up and she slams it, but uh Oh, battle still at the alive. net, and Brandy wins it. We got a serve, touch the tape. And of course, we're on the point freeze, side out scoring on the outer court. Right. Once you get to match points, so you can't hit the tape, there's no let serves. Yes. If it happens again, the serve will go to Day and Hochaver. Here's Kelly Clays back to serve. Meanwhile on Stadium, Wilkerson putting up the serve. Emily Day puts it down. Lauren Fendrick swings. Nicole Branna is there. Branna. Oh, Branna. Such an amazing angle hit on the line. 6-10. Now it's gonna take something huge to come back here from Ross and Fendrick. We're playing the 15. Gotta and, win by uh, two. Keep your eyes on stadium court, but more importantly, we're 14 all in the third on the outer court, court one. Sarah Hughes dug. And Brittany Hochever puts it away. And then on stadium, you hear the crowd going wild as Nicole Branna and Brandy Wilkerson have tapped into something truly special. They are on fire. There are fans all over the property right now just going crazy. I don't think anyone in the outside courts knows what's going on. Or they're probably watching the, what's, <laughs> they're probably watching the stadium court match on the Jumbotron. And an error for Lauren Fendrick. She looks out of sorts. She and April Ross struggling here in set number three as Branna and Wilkerson open up a six point lead. Wow, this would be devastating for the one seed here. They here comes get April. finished off here. Nice. Nice. Side out by April is seven, looking at 12. You know, April Ross has had her name on the pier here at Manhattan Beach before, more than once. Lauren Fendrick has not. 15-15 on the court one. 14. Here comes Maybe Wilkerson 14, on stadium. Lauren Fendrick with the set. April Ross with a great location on that ball. Eight to 12 on the side switch here in stadium. Look at the girls battling on the outside. And it is over. One. Day and Hochaver winning at 16-14 to go to the finals live on NBC later today. Wow. Congrats to match. those ladies. They're trying to get their third California 
event win of the year. And that would be an unbelievable feat by those two. April Ross with a with an ace on the stadium court, yeah. keeping her team alive. But bring you back to the stadium here as these girls battle. It's only a three-point lead now. The lead is not safe. Yes, I'm telling especially you. with the match point freeze, which is when you have to score on serve. But let's go back to Clay's and Hughes for a second. They finished with a third place at the Manhattan Beach Open. Impressive run for them, taking the reigning Manhattan Beach Open champs to three sets and just barely coming up short. Yeah, impressive performance. Props to our production crew here for that double screen action. That was pretty sweet. So we got to see a bit of both semifinals here for the women. Sarah Hughes. What are April Ross and Lauren Fendrick saying right now? Are they saying, hey, this is within reach, we got this? Are they are they talking specific adjustments? What you know, what would you expect, Try. Looks like there's a little strategy going on there from John Daze, their coach. I mean, I know April's in her own zone right now, knowing that she's capable of taking over the match at any point. I mean, like I said, Wilkerson and Brandon have been trying to kind of stay away from April a lot. And yet, April has six aces. She's that finding is a way to create points. And then she's also, she also has 17 kills. She hasn't even been getting served that much. And she has more kills yes. than Lauren Fendrick. Lauren Fendrick's gotten served more. Right. But she's taking that on to option and putting balls away in transition. Yeah. Tight, a set. tight set, not what they wanted. Oh my goodness. Oh we my lord. Fendrick looking a little tight here. Yeah. Especially because that's her game at the net, and Wilkerson seems to be in control at the moment. Wilkerson just seems a little more loose and relaxed. Obviously, the pressure's not on her right now. Okay, serving error for Nicole Brenna. She she pats her chest saying, my bad, to her partner, Brandy Wilkerson. I mean, Brenna's gotten a few aces in this one herself. Three. They're, they're, staying, they're staying aggressive here. here Brandy going Wilkerson. back. Nice cut shot, the lefty from the left side. With the big smile. Match point. First match point, here we go, match point freeze. So there's an advantage to the team that's behind. Okay. It's a lot easier to come back when, when we have this point freeze. So yeah. the lead is still not safe at four points. Here comes but April it would be Ross. an amazing feat for them to pull it off. Oh and this wow, is an opportunity. Brana for Brana. the match. Ball still alive. To go to Another their chance. first. Get out! Final. Get out of Look here! Look at that. Brana is back in the finals of the Manhattan Beach Open. Oh my goodness. And it goodness. is an emotional experience for her, for sure. It's been a long road. She's been grinding. My jaw is dropped. Try can see me. Those that live watching at home cannot, but I am. I think most of this crowd is stunned right now. A massive upset. Check it out here. Nicole Brana, just ever the composed player. Look how pumped up these two are. Such an emotional moment for her. She's worked so hard to get back here. And she led her team to get there. She's going to so be playing much on NBC Live.